Today morning I develop and work on crocuses, my new discoveries, exploration and paintings of watercolor loose without sketching. And here I have a little discovery which I can't wait to share with you. Okay, I have my wonderful subject, crocuses, which is in bloom right now in my garden. They are bright, different colors, and yes, as an artist, oh, we have this wonderful palette, pigments, they are vibrant and we are ready to use them and portray this vibrancy, bright and joy on your painting. But did you know that you can even multiply this effect by choosing color gamma and how colors influence on this a wow factor and what makes your subject even more brighter luminosity vibrancy since then what i noticed about these crocuses it's beautiful but it's cold and i noticed that this warm area at the bottom here makes this yellow even more stand out and luminosity just notice, if I hide this section here, it's cold. And now, wow, my colors are seen on a paper and my crocus is so bright in luminosity since then. This opposite, if this one is bright, luminosity, joyful, then this is much more quiet, relaxed, and so soft and gentle feeling. And to prove that point, again, I think the same way, what makes a, this one even more gentle and soft? What can I do? Maybe add some colors. What is that to even multiply this effect? And let's see how I come up with this one. Are you excited? So uh, this is my next layer. And as you can see, I developed the flowers just a bit, very hinty. What I made, I add this rough, bold, wet, dirty, ground in a bottom and it's truly is i paint from my expression from my experience i feel that way we have cold winter stormy snow and frost and those flowers are so tough they are in bloom they are very first sign of a spring and they have so much life and brave to bloom and at the same time they are so soft and gentle flowers once I add this cold frozen ground dirty colors near my soft crocuses I think I win I multiply this expression and now my crocuses are so brave and alive to be in bloom in such a weather. I think I'm near to be finished with this one and now I move to my next painting and I'm excited what I come up with this one. I think I need to be finished with this one also. So this is my second painting of a crocuses still wet and they're still working, vibrant and juicy of watercolors while they're still wet. So let's see how they will look like when all of this completely dries. Each time I showed in between unfinished pieces, people wonder how do I move to the next and ask me, please, please show how you finish this piece. What I wanted to tell you is that Please make your own discoveries. This was my color discovery about this warmth 
and when you paint there will be yours even more exciting color combinations and discoveries about your chosen palette because you have your color palette because different colors excites you and you find absolutely different color combinations which excites you and you found that this is the most lucky one for your subject to sing and to create this vibrancy. Even time spent by think watching your unfinished pieces is so valuable time. So this was my crocuses. I hope you enjoy our watching this and see you soon.